Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Chris Durick here with you with another Sabres reaction. And the Sabres win 3-2 to two in the shootout over the Minnesota Wild. You know, it was another fantastic game by the team offensively and defensively. We outplayed Minnesota pretty much throughout that game. Um, UPL got the start again. Uh, across from him was Cam Talbot for Minnesota. And Minnesota is right now the hottest team in the wet in the west right now and the fact that we came out on top i can call this um minnesota miracle for the buffalo savers and of course we're getting around christmas time so it's the time of miracles and to start the game uh merrill from the point ended up getting one just past upl you could tell he got a piece of it just how slowly it coasted in um then later on uh, in the first period, Kyle Poso with a nice setup tried to beat Talbot, but Talbot got a pat on it and ended up being kicked out into the corner. Um, the shot was taken from the point, uh, was deflected by Dylan Cousins, and Cousins gets another one and ties the game in the first period. Second period, back and forth, tight defensively, great goaltending by both guys until towards the last minute of of the first of the second period and Kaprizov shoots one and it just it looked like UPL had it but it just he got a piece of it once again and it slowly coasted into the net so a tough one to swallow but third period came around we were only down by one still felt good about the game and Buffalo just kept pushing, and they kept pushing and pushing, and then Mark Pizik finds it on a one-timer, beats Talbot. He finally, Mark Pizik, you finally find the back of the net, bud, and ties the game at two. We go to overtime. Minnesota and both Buffalo had great opportunities in the overtime period. Um, Minnesota just kept pushing and tried to get one past Lukanen and Dylan Cousins had a great opportunity in overtime gets the shot right in between the legs of Talbot but Talbot luckily enough kicked his one foot over and ends up knocking the puck wide of the net it was gonna go in but he somehow managed to kick it over and, and it just slides past the net so we go to the shootout Nobody scored for Minnesota, and Tage Thompson seals the deal for us in Minnesota to give us a 3-2 to two win. And that is now two wins out of three on the road. And you could I couldn't ask for a better start for this three-game road trip. Um, my takeaways from this game is that I'm happy with how well they're coached. I'm happy with how the the play of the team is, regardless of how many guys we had to start off the year. And just, like, have, like, all these guys that we, you know, needed to come bring up from Rochester are stepping up and just making, you know, not just an impact, but to show that they, you know, that they are close to being ready to be full-time guys in the NHL. Um, the, you know, astounding, like, two-way play of Brett Murray, um, the solid goaltending from UPL. It's just f so freaking awesome that we've got, like, all this young talent overseas, in college, um, guys coming up in juniors. Um, we got young prospect goaltending coming. You know, just to see the possibility of our future looking bright. And I feel like it's just going to get brighter as long as we can keep it up. We got a tough one coming up uh, just the next day because we got back to back. We got Pittsburgh coming. Well, we're going. Well, we're going to Pittsburgh, but we're going to take it to them. Um, wonder if we'll see uh, their third jersey in this game. Be pretty cool. Um, if it. Any of you Pittsburgh Penguin fans want my opinion on that jersey? It's solid. I thought the reverse retro was solid, the white version of that. 
but kind of wish they would have had Robo Penguin on the shoulders. Instead, they got their current logo on the shoulders, but here's some fans of that uh, are not too fond of that logo, but um, shout out to Marcus Foligno, who's having a stellar year in in Minnesota. Proud of you. Miss, still miss you here in Buffalo, though. Um, hope Minnesota can keep it rolling because I got no envy against them and I'd like to see them like make a good run this year you know because as they say Minnesota is the state of hockey but I still feel like we're a hockey town and we got the most passionate fans um just to show that when the chips are down probably for us we're showing that we got no quit and it's just a beautiful thing to, you know, just to see that this team is constantly pushing and constantly keep going, regardless of how bad the deficit is. Um, maybe a couple of times I've seen this team let up and just stop, but I hope that doesn't really happen on a constant basis because we're that means we're just looking at the same team we had last year. But anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Click like if you liked the video. Click subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell all your friends. This is, it's looking to be an interesting year. I know there's some problems going on COVID-wise, you know, throughout the league, it's kind of kicking back in, but hopefully it doesn't take a toll on the season. But anyways, guys, take care. I'll see you later.